home build construction update. Y'all, so there has been so much that has happened this week here at the house. And I'm gonna take you guys through all of it, but super exciting. But before we get into that, if you are new here, let me take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Felicia and I am a full-time working mom with a total of three kiddos. And on my channel, you will find a variety of content from shop with me, vlogs, mom life. But most recently, a lot of my channel has been focused on the new construction of our new home here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So that's what we are all wrapped up in. And if you are coming back to watch another one of my videos, then welcome back. As always, thank you for coming back and supporting my channel. It truly does mean the world to me. So I'm gonna take you through the house, but just a quick rundown of the things that have happened this week. So we got the septic system put in. So yes, we are on acreage. We are, um, we're not like far out in the country, but we are on acreage. So we are not um, hooked up to the city sewer, but we do have, you know, the regular electrical. We're hooked up to city water, all of those fun things. It's just, um, we have septic and it's not like you're back in the day for those of you that might remember like the septic tank that you know just sat in the ground and then they once it, the pooper was full they had to come and dig it out and it was just kind of gross so this is like really high-tech um, septic system that goes through like all these filtrations I will insert some footage um, I had stopped by here and they were putting it in and the guy was like super nice, super helpful, telling me like all of this stuff. So I did get some footage before um, they covered it all up. Um, so we have like a regular, like what would be a, a normal size tank, some cabinets, um, some cap, uh, like a normal size tank, but um, we have like a tank and a half or almost double, I guess, just because of the size of our home. So. Um, so that happened. Uh, I will insert some of that footage. We got cabinets. Um, they did the final, well, pretty much the final grade. So no more like orange construction silt fence. And so it's really, really coming together. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys through and just kind of show you the updates. Hopefully my camera battery doesn't die. I meant to grab my charge battery and uh, completely forgot when I was running out the door. So. Anyways, enough rambling for me. Let's get into the video, shall we? All right, it's kind of windy, but I'm gonna start, I don't know why this always seems so crooked, but I'm gonna start here in the foyer. Got some cabinets, we got some more cabinets, yay! And I'm sorry if there's like, if it's kind of windy as, um, let me get some, get it a little brighter here, as um, they left all the doors open. So. Anyways, we have our built-in here. A couple things about the built-in. It's only supposed to, like, there's not supposed to be a gap here, but when they hung the top piece, they hung it, like, level so that the crown molding would be level with the doorway, and um, we only, it's only supposed to go, like, eight feet or pretty much even with, like, those doors. So they have to lower this down um, so that it's more like a bookcase. This one will have, um, you can see the peg holes. The, these do have adjustable shelves. Um, and then you'll notice all of our fun stuff in here. But you may notice that this guy is pretty far out. And that's because we made this cabinet 28 inches deep so that it would hold or house and hide a subwoofer so that it's not like sitting out in the middle of anywhere and just kind of stays in its own place. And then we had, you'll see in a future video, I'm sure, uh, we had the cabinet guy. He's gonna do a regular cabinet door here. These will both have doors. But um, for this one, we're gonna have him make another door that's custom that just has like the panel kind of cut out for um, 
so that we can put like a screen panel on it, I guess if you will, so that the subwoofer sound can, you know, come out. So that's that. We're still waiting on the fireplace around. Um, but let's go into this bathroom over here. We have, that's the other thing we had, we have doors. So um, they have most of the, this size door in, but we're still waiting, I think, on like closet doors, bathroom doors. But um, bathroom, we did what are called head knockers in every bathroom above every toilet. Um, because there's just no storage. <laughs> so um, this bathroom actually gets a, white, a longer, um, those are really just kind of stuck right now, um, a longer vanity. But um, some of the bathrooms, as you'll see, don't. So we definitely put the head knockers in for, um, for extra storage. And now I'm going to turn you around. Get ready for it. No, just kidding. Let's go in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's go in the bathroom. Bath. I was going to turn you around and show you the kitchen, but we'll wait for that. Um, so bathroom, master bath. Yay! So we did um, the linen towers, and then there's a gap here uh, because the countertop will sit in between there. But we did the linen towers, and we ran electrical into them. So each of those will have um, will have uh, like a plug-in in here. I am a little frustrated because I didn't realize we've never built a house before where the shelves don't move. So like I can't even, like we can't even take them out if we want. So I didn't realize that, but I'm glad we really requested that on, um, on the um, like bookcase and uh, like subwoofer cabinet, but yeah, so um, also I did, and I'll show you in the kitchen too, but we did instead of doing like four small drawers, I did one larger one, and or one like not as shallow, and then two deeper ones because I just feel like you have kind of more options that way. A sink will go here, and then another row of drawers, and then in the original floor plan for this house, there's actually, you would come around this corner and there would be like, this is where our water closet is, head knocker. Um, you would come around this corner and there would be like a coffee bar, like lower cabinets, and then we were gonna have upper cabinets, and then you would take a left. And I can show you the model too. You would take a, actually in our floor plan, the way ours came out, you would take a right and go into the water closet. But I didn't like, um, when you walked in, you could see into the water closet if the door was open, so I didn't really like that. So we basically pulled, we knew we were gonna do linen towers on both ends, but so we basically pulled the like coffee bar out and put it over here so that there wasn't just like empty wall here. Um, so that's what this is. This guy is massive. And then we have the electrical in here as well. Um, but that turned out massive. The only thing that got messed up here is that I wanted this to be a solid drawer and I wanted this one to be a solid drawer, um, mostly so that the bottoms would match on either end. And also, um, here I'll show you down here because it's easier. You lose space here, which doesn't seem like a lot of space, but that's a good three to four inches. And then you kind of just get you know, a little more like boxed in to what you can put in them, where if it's like a solid drawer, you know, the sky's the limit. But I actually ran into the cabinet guy out here yesterday, and he kind of talked me out of it, like throwing a fit about it, and I was like, okay, well, I pick my battles. Um, coming into, this is the master closet, and this is the island for the master closet. So we had this one custom done as well. Um, so like for these drawers, they're just as wide and bigger than what the drawers would be on the end. Cause 
coming back to this, he talked me out of it because he said it would just be really wide and get wobbly as you pulled it out, but I was like, whatever. Because these drawers are wider <laughs> than those in there, but again, you pick your battles. So this will go lengthways here. There's drawers on both sides, as you can see. And then we had, they actually need to move this electrical. Um, that's down in there. They've needed to move it for a while. But anyways, um, uh, this will actually move down um, so that the middle is centered. That's going to be a chandelier. Um, we just got to, they haven't set it yet, mostly because of the electrical. And we have to tell them, because we're going to have French doors here that swing in. So we've got to tell them like exactly where we want it. So, um, but it'll have electrical outlets on either side so that you can you can plug in our stuff. So swing around here, this is Trent's side. And we did the drawers on this side, chose not to do them over here just to have another like cabinet cabinet. Um, and he's like, I don't need more than, you know, what's here. Um, again, the deeper drawers to kind of get more versatility. In this video, I can already tell is going to be really long, so I apologize. I'm trying to hurry up, but let's look at the kitchen, shall we? Boom. Yay, we have cabinets. So yeah, um, we have two islands. Um, this one they weren't able to set yet um, because they haven't run the electrical yet, which our last builder guy was like, oh yeah, don't worry about it, whatever. So anyways, um, we have a second island. They have to run the electrical, so there'll be a plug on either end. And then again, look at how wide these drawers are. So I'm like, why couldn't I have this wide of a drawer in my bathroom? But again, picking my battles. So second island um just a little story about this and maybe i can grab some footage from the model so <clears throat> just if you're thinking of building this floor plan with grand homes but we actually um made this deeper on the back side so because and i'll insert um some footage from the model But the way they normally build this, like this back half is just like empty and you have countertop all the way over the top to like out here. Um, and I was like, that I just feel like has wasted space. So and we had them put a cabinet, I guess it opens this way, a cabinet on the end here. They still have to put the shelf in. That was one of the things I talked to the guy about. Um, and then there'll be electrical, outlet that goes in here. I'm a little frustrated because I wish they would have left enough conduit um, to where it would like go around the edge because it'll come out on this side so that when we're sitting here working or whatever, they'll, um, they'll be electrical. So that's a door and then these, um, these are storage under here. So this is where I'm gonna put like the stuff we never use. Um, and then this one, instead of doing a cabinet door on this end, I put another trash can pole. Um, because a couple things. One is the way that they normally build out the cabinets, and we ended up doing it that way, is the dishwasher's here, which kind of makes sense, especially, so it kind of keeps it a little bit away from the living room. So if it's like running or whatever, and also keeps you closer to like putting stuff away, but the trash can pole 
if you choose to do that, is like down here. And so I was like, well, that's not really functional if you're over here or you're at the kitchen table, you know. Like my thought is, is if you're standing here cooking and you like have, you know, meat, like you've dumped meat into the pan or, you know, you just, you're cooking and you have stuff, like where do you go, you know? So um, I had them put another trash can here. So, you know, if you're coming in from outside or somebody's doing dishes or this is kind of congested or, you know, next to the dinner table or you're cooking, you kind of have that option. Everybody actually thought that was a genius idea. So we have two trash can poles, which is fine. And then set of drawers here. And then this is obviously the refrigerator wall. Make sure to tell the guy to do it at counter depth, even if you give him dimensions. Um, then just another cabinet here. Again, the non-adjustable shelves, which I mean, I, I can't really think of a time that we adjusted them a ton in our previous homes, but just not having that option is kind of bugging me. It just locks me in. <laughs> so drawers, drawers, as you'll see, we did a lot of banks of drawers um, in the kitchen area. And I just feel that that just makes them more versatile because they're deep so you can put, you know, dishes or whatever inside of them. Um, so we did the banks of drawers here, um, the pan drawers under the stove top, then again here, and then obviously just like another cabinet. They obviously haven't put the hood in yet. Um, and then over here is kind of like the coffee, what a coffee bar, or just extra storage. They messed up and put doors on here and I wanted uh, drawers like these to go here. My thought is is that this is like an extension of the pantry we, you know, we'll put the Nespresso and the you know um, Like boiling water pot or whatever uh, over here But I think this is just gonna be an extension of the pantry so like, you know chippies, you know just bags or just like whatever can go in here We didn't put drawers here because the double so the microwave will go here then the double oven will go here. So if we put drawers here, we wouldn't like really be able to pull them out um, because of the handles of the oven. So, and then this will be the pantry. Nothing in here yet. Um, let's see, let's go this way. So the bathrooms are pretty standard from the, the other one. Um, Except for, this will be Nakona's bathroom, and I didn't realize this vanity was so much shorter, so there's like no drawer here, um, you know, for toiletries. So we'll have to put the little drawers or whatever, either in the head knocker or down here. Um, so kind of a limited space there, which I didn't realize was this was that short. Um, but glad we did the head knockers. And then coming into this bathroom, same thing. Um, head knocker and then we'll go into the mudroom. This is actually, I've got to talk to them about this because this whole thing kind of got jacked up because our builder guy didn't have them put, there's gonna be French doors here to block this off and he didn't have them put this framing far enough down the wall even though I mentioned it a million times, so it's kind of a pain point. And we actually asked him if he could move the framing down before they even hung sheetrock, and he said no. But this is something, sorry about the wind. Um, this is, I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan of this situation. They did, the cabinet guy did try to, you know, fur it out, and then he only built the cabinet down here to here because they'll just put the countertop. So, I mean, it is what it is, and it's fine. But you'll see, and we pointed this out in our in our drawings that they gave us. They don't line up. And now this door, like I can't, you can't even open it all the way. I mean, you can open it for the most part, but I feel like if you're spending that kind of money for a house that, I don't know, you may just be picky, but. Anyways, still lots of space. Spinning around here, this will be um, the actual laundry room. They've got to obviously cut this crown down because there'll be a pocket door that goes goes on the side of here. But this turned out really well. We kind of had to fight a little bit. <laughs> fight a couple battles for like this cabinet up here. It wasn't on the original drawings. I don't know what the deal is, but whatever. 
Um, there'll be a small kind of bar sink that goes here. So he built the cabinet like all the way back, um, you know, obviously so that they'd have room and then we can use that as like storage. So I felt like this turned out really well. You know, we've got outlets up here, an outlet here for if we want to, you know, iron in here. This is um, a broom closet. We kind of had to battle a little bit about. Um, did an outlet back there so we can put like the Dyson vacuums in here, dog food. Like there's just stuff like there's, I mean, I've said it so many times, but like there just is not a lot of closet space in this house. And I mean, we have like one coat closet up there and then obviously all the bedrooms have closets, but like, I don't know. It just, um, in our last house, I kind of had to do that too. I had to put, I had them, sorry, my hair is like everywhere from the wind, but I had to have them put, I had them build um, like a linen closet upstairs in our hallway in our last house too, because there just wasn't a lot of closet space. But anyways, I feel like I've done what I can to maximize the space, even making the master closet bigger, but and I kind of wish I would have gotten a couple more feet based on how they, built it out but whatever so anyways let's continue the tour here so then we walk out of the kitchen and we walk around the corner to this will be like a beverage we're gonna put a beverage fridge here and um they'll um sorry i don't know what's going on outside but anyways so we have some cabinets here i know it's kind of weird to have such little drawers right here but this will be good for like koozies um, wine, you know, openers or beer bottle openers. They have to fix this step because they built it out too far. Like it should stop like here so they couldn't put the drawer in. Um, but anyways, and then this is the game room. So this is our little bar area for the game room. And so again, we built this part. Um, let me go this way because you'll see that this cabinet sticks out a little bit further and that's um, to put subwoofer inside of there to hide it. There'll be a beverage fridge here. We actually thought about putting a kegerator in here but it didn't really fit that well and we lost like a lot of cabinet space and we were like, you know, are we really gonna use a kegerator? I don't know, we don't drink enough beer probably to constitute that. But um, so trash pull out. Um, this will be is supposed to be like under the sink stuff. I'll sit, I'll show you why I say supposed to be, and then a bank of drawers. But this is our issue. So the last builder guy we had, we told him that this was way too far down because Trent had drawn out the cabinets, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, they'll fix it like later." Blah 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 blah. So now we have holes in our cabinets that shouldn't be there, which it is what it is, but they're gonna have to move the plumbing down to where it sits inside of this, um, that cabinet, and then there'll be a bar sink here too. So, and then eventually we're gonna have the same cabinet guy like build uppers. We chose not to do that now because um, we wanna do some really cool stuff and it just was gonna get crazy to price that out with a builder. So anyways, uh, pocket door, and then we're in the extension kitchen, which, Got a little crazy, <laughs> got a lot bigger than um, we were originally thinking. We were originally thinking I would kind of stop there and then we were like, well, we're gonna do a kitchen. But anyways, they need to fix this. There was a miscommunication in the measurements for the drawing. So they built this around to 31 inches deep instead of 25 for a counter depth. They built it um, to include the doors and the door handle. So. They gotta shave that back, which our sales lady, our good friend Jen, was like, I would just leave it, it kinda anchors it. And I'm like, yeah, but there's not really that much space. And I had planned to do like a bar top kind of circle table here or something, and six inches is six inches, you know? So anyways, a dishwasher will go here. This will be a full functioning kitchen. There'll be a slide in oven here. A nice cooktop and um, the microwave will be combined with the hood to save space like the vent and so we did that and um, I think it turned out really nice it actually you know even though it takes up a little bit of space 
I wish we would have listened to ourselves and pushed this back a couple, couple more feet or built this whole side out a couple more feet, but the last, the sales guy we started with talked us out of that. And um, because keep in mind that even if you say like 14 by 14, like, you know, a room 14 by 14, you lose one to two feet for framing on walls. So to them, a 14 by 14 is unfinished. So just some food for thought there. And then we have this bathroom. Nothing major, but again, there's no drawer. Um, even though I think they could sneak a drawer here because like they could put this, I don't know. I don't know what this is all gonna end up to be, but the way I understood it initially is there would be a functioning drawer on this side, but whatever. Um, head knocker, you can see they graded. Again, this is gonna be like a really long video. So I'm gonna run you upstairs and just show you the fifth bathroom, just for SMGs. All right, we have arrived at Dallin's bathroom. This thing turned out massive, and it actually turned out, this whole deal turned out way different than it is in the model house, which is fine, because initially we had two more drawers here, the drawers that I showed you that they didn't build and they have to, they forgot that we took them out of here. Conveniently, they forgot. Now, I say conveniently and I shouldn't throw shade because our cabinet guy is actually really nice, but so they were like, okay, we're not gonna build the drawers here, but we're also not gonna put them downstairs. So I'm like, wait, we're missing some drawers and they knew it. So anyways, initially there were gonna be some drawers here. So instead of centering the sink, we centered it over here in this cabinet because this was going to be a cabinet and then another set of drawers. Or I don't know how it all was supposed to be. But anyways, the sink's going to go here. But then he's got like three drawers and all of this storage, which is fine. We did do a head knocker in here, but this could be for like extra towels, you know, washcloths, things like that. And that can be, you know, whatever. And then my thought is that... Um, I can actually use this for like extra linens up here, whether for Dallin's bedroom or for, um, for, you know, like whatever. So anyways, cause eventually we are gonna have storage at the end of this hallway. I've talked about that a few times. All right, it cut me off cause it gets to like a 25 minute <laughs> run limit and then it, uh, it shuts off. But make sure to check out some other videos about the saga of the end of this hallway. And then I was just gonna show you these doors. Woo! So that's um, the doors for Town's Closet. So I'll give you a view from up here too of the pooper. This house across the street, all these houses are going so quickly. These two have been moved into. But um, they did the final grade. Pretty much the final grade. So anyways. Yeah, so fun stuff. So let's head downstairs and I will show you the caps for the pooper or the, the septic system outside. It's actually kind of kind of interesting. And, um, and I'll insert footage at some point either. You've already seen it in this video or I don't know, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna put it all in. But, um, and I'll show you the final, or the, you know, what it looks like graded. Cause it actually does, especially with the, the orange fence down, um, it does uh, make it look really cool out here. So I'm gonna flip you around, and I saw, I'm sorry about the wind. I'm gonna show you. All right, this is our backyard. So, holy man! So our land technically goes all the way to the road, but then we have to give 30 feet to um, a, like a, that path or walkway. Um, a lot of it's because there is a lot of like um, people that own horses and stuff. And we've seen, if you've seen in my other videos, people ride their horses actually through this whole neighborhood um, all the time as well as along there. So it's a, like a pathway. Um, and then, yeah, like you have to, we do have a road, 
so it is what it is. But um, anyways, this is our yard. So just to give you some perspective, so I'm standing at the edge of the patio and our land ends over, way over in that corner. And then you can't even see the corner over here unless I walk out here, which I have my Converse's on. I should have switched my boots. I brought them, but it didn't seem like it was muddy. And then it goes over to that corner over there. So this is our whole backyard. We have a ton of side yard, which we've talked about numerous times, but um, this is crazy. So our land goes all the way to the edge right there. So we have like all of this for side yard. So we were gonna put a sports court back here and I think we still can. Um, but this is where our septic ended up. So it is what it is, you gotta have a septic. We had thought that it was gonna go further up the side of the house, but the guy was like, well on the plan it was this way for m multiple reasons, but one is we have plumbing underground right here and then a gas line, so he's like, we couldn't put the septic in. So, putting in the septic, huh? Oh, yes, ma'am. Hello, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good? Just putting in the pooper hole, huh? Getting it done. There's like, getting shit done, right? <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> That's awesome. I was videoing because my son and uh, my husband aren't here and my son's like, what does it look like? How does it go? And so I was like, well, I have the camera in the car. So I was just, I was just <laughs> showing him. Like time, huh? Yes, I realized that. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. So it is like a big tank. There are big tanks. Yeah. This one right here is got a two sections. Yeah. And then the other one has one or two? The other one is just one solid. Just one solid, right? And then it goes through the whole filtering system, yeah, so right? The filter itself wants to run through there. Yeah. And then once they run this uh, tank right here, that's how you clean it. Yeah. Maybe a compressor underneath that. Okay, right there. Okay. And there will go air into it. Okay. The more air you get into it, the good bacteria will work off the, uh, off the air. Okay. And you eat the bad bacteria. So once it leaves that tank and goes into the terrifier tank, it should be like uh, 98% Pretty much, yeah. And then it just, you just have the spray off on the back, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so these are the caps. This, these are attached to one septic that's underground. And then there's another half of a, of a tank, if you will, um, that these go to. So it's like a whole system. We have like a box, another box. The guy was super nice as you've seen in the footage. I'm assuming I've entered it or put it in here by now. And then, yeah, so then it hooks up to like an irrigation and by the time it gets through all of its processing, it's like at like 99% like clean, if you will. And so then it um, sprays off like your irrigate, like an irrigation, like they're, um, I can show you, but they're basically like, um, they're basically like sprinkler heads. So it's kind of hard to see because the dirt's over. But then they just come up and then just spray it off. We can have them spray off over there and we can also put them on a timer to where they only come on like from like one in the morning to four, like five in the morning so that if you're outside, you know, and you're back here doing whatever, they're not, you know, spraying you. We're gonna do a berm here anyways, so most of this will be a berm. At least they're gonna take that sign out. So this all will be like pool, sports court or whatever if we end up doing it, or we might build the pool out this way and do a lazy river. I don't know, we'll just have to see. But um, yeah, so that's the septic, the final grade. The outside, this is gonna be an outdoor shower. Somebody had asked me in one of my other videos, or commented on one of my other videos and asked what all of this was about. So that's like a gas stub for an outdoor kitchen at some point, drains for outdoor kitchen stuff, and um, it's a loop. That's a water loop for a future like outdoor shower, so. So yeah, 
that's the land that's what's happening on the the land front <laughs> so anyways good times it's kind of weird to like be in the house you know and like now we have cabinets i don't know it's awesome but it's kind of like crazy so it's funny because i almost just went through the door that goes into the breakfast nook and i was like well the slider is wide open so we'll just walk in through the slider here but anyways i think that's it pooper stuff cabinets grade um lots of moving stuff this week so anyways i don't think i have any other updates um to bring you up to speed on so anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video this update as always we appreciate you coming along on this journey with us and supporting and all the good fun stuff comment down below what you all think so far any questions please do drop them down below while you're you know putting the comments down below make sure you have smashed that subscribe button hit the bell notification because well you don't want to miss a video on this uh bleep show and that it is half the time around here and uh give the video a thumbs up if you liked it which i hope that you did so anyways thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next update the next video so bye